Yesterday, Governor Steve Sisolak announced Nevada's statewide pause is staying in place. And at the same time, he restarted the eviction moratorium to try and help those struggling homeowners and renters across the state. Bianca Holman is live this morning with more details on the statewide pause. Bianca. Good morning, John. Well, COVID-19 hospitalizations and deaths definitely have continued since that statewide pause happened three weeks ago, and actually those numbers are higher. And so Governor Sisolak, he has decided to extend that pause into the new year. Now, here's what that means for everybody at home. The pause will be extended through January 15th at the earliest. This includes restrictions on capacity limits at restaurants and casinos to 25%. Private gatherings are limited to 10 people and no more than two households both indoors and outdoors. Public gatherings are limited to 50 people or 25% of the capacity, whichever is less. Governor Sisolak warned that he would have to tighten restrictions if our COVID numbers don't get better. But I need to be clear. If officials and experts agree that our trends are going beyond our ability to respond, I will be forced to come in front of you all again with tougher actions. I believe we can avoid those actions if we all commit to it. The governor also says that shutting down the entire state is, quote, unrealistic. He blamed Congress for not providing additional support and said our families and neighborhoods, they really need the support right now. And also the governor has said that he will be calling on Washington for more help as we get through this time period. Reporting live from UMC, Bianca Holman, 8 News Now.